Hello, welcome to Taxonomy Online Mathematics. We are on question 12A, WASI 2025, the first series. They call it the first series or the first batch, which is January, February edition. Call Mathematics. A drawer contains two types of pens of the same type except color. So the number of blue pens in the drawer is three more than the square of the number of red pens. So the probability of selecting at random a red pen from the drawer is 20%. So if there is more than one red pen in the drawer, we are finding the number of blue pens and the total number of what? Pens. Now, if we are saying that uh, the number of blue pens in the drawer is three more than the square of that of the red, it means to know the number of blue pens, we need to know what the red pens is. So we let's build on to what the red pen will be. Before then, C is probability. Let's uh, see. Uh, if we are going to have red, so let number of fold red, this, let's represent this by X, right? Then we are going to have the number of blue by y the probability what again do we need we need this total sample so number of s which is the total sample total sample okay still we don't know that is why we are asked to find the total number of pens so since i know this as the red this as the blue this will give me x plus what y that's the first concept we can get all right, this is just from normal probability uh, ideas. But coming to the question, the number of blue, which is what? Y. This implies that Y will be equals to, the number of blue is equals to 3 more, mean 3 plus the square of the number of what? Red. So it means 3 more, the square of this plus what? 3. X is unknown. Y is unknown, so let's label that as what? Equation 1. We are still picking from the question, and we are now at this point. So at this point, this is all we can get. Then the probability of selecting at random a red pen. Probability of selecting at random. We can say that the probability of red pen will be equal to the number of red, which is going to be X, divided by the total number which will be x plus what? y. Probability, the event, over total event, right? This is equal to 20%. And 20% means 20 out of what? 100. All right? So all those ended here. If there are more than one red pen, okay? All right. So this is what we have. Let's see if we can cancel this further to have 1 over what? 5. That implies that x over x plus 1 equals 1 over 5. We can rewrite this to become a linear equation without the fraction. If you cross multiply, you should have your 5x, as in this case, equals to x plus y. Multiplying this remain the same. What can we do? We can group like terms to have 5x minus x equals y. And that will mean that what? 4x equals what? y. This is also an equation whereby the x and y is unknown. But I can see in this equation, y is beginning value. y is beginning. It means that we can equate the two uh, equations. We can say equation 1 equals to equation 2. That means that this part, which we are having x squared plus 3, should be the same as what? 4x. Since we are eliminating the y. The y in the first equation is the same as the y in the second equation. Or better still, we can say substitute equation 2 into equation 1. It will give you the same analogy. So let's bring this one in to have our x squared negative 4x now. This is already at the left. So plus 3 equals to what? 0. I think we are seeing a quadratic equation, finding factors of 3, positive 3, 
when you add, you will get a negative 4. So to mean that those factors both must be negative. So negative 1 times negative 3 will give you 3. Then negative 1 plus negative 3 will give you negative 4. So our value will just be x minus 1, x minus 3 equals to 0. These are the two factors that we have. Remember how we get a shortcut from our previous episodes. So here we can pick our x minus 1 is equals to 0. Here, right? So this will transpose. If this transpose, okay, let me see. Or x minus 3 equals to 0. So let's get this in here. So I can pick here to have x equals 1 or x equals 2. When this one also go, I have for 3. So we have two values for x, meaning the number of red could either be 1 or what? 3. But we need one of them. That is why this statement is here. If there is more than one, more than one red pen, this is one red pen. So this is three. So this is more than one. So this is what we are going to deal with. So what do we do? We are asked to find the number of what? Red pens. So here, this implies that red pens is going to be three. Then let's go to the I. The I is asking for number of what? Blue pen. How do I get that? The number of blue pens. We can pick it from any of the equations we have y here, right? So we can say that blue pens will be equal to 4 times x. And 4x is 3, and that will give us what? 12 pens. We can also use the first equation here, y equals to, let's put a 3 here, which is going to be 3 squared, 9. 9 plus 3 will also be 12 pens. Alright. Then the final one is to find total number of four pens. Total number of pens is x plus y. And x is 3, y is 12. That gives us what? 15 pens. So there are 15 pens in the drawer where 3 is red. And 12 is going to be blue. Concept graphs? If yes, leave your thoughts in the comment section. Let's see how far you are faring with the solving on the series of this question. Don't forget to share, comment, subscribe, and like.